So here's an example dealing with um, standard 52 card decks, or standard decks of cards that have uh, 52 in them. We have 13 of them are clubs, 13 spades, 13 hearts, and 13 diamonds. So here you're dealt a round of three cards, one at a time, so that's without replacement. We want to find an experimental probability that your cards are all red, so all of them are either a heart or a diamond. All right, so in this case in Fathom, our collection is going to be the deck of cards. There are 52 cards in a deck, so the way I'm going to simulate a deck of cards is I'm going to um, have my variable be cards, and the values of it are the numbers 1 through 52. So I'm going to use Excel to get a shortcut of getting those numbers. So quickly fill it in. I'm going to highlight those. Then hit the bottom right-hand corner and drag it all the way down until I get to 52. I copy those. Go back to Fathom. And with this, select, this box selected, I paste. OK, so if we drag down a table, we see that there are our cards. And I'm going to rename the attribute card. OK, so that's the card we get. So let's just decide ahead of time that cards 1 through 13 are diamonds, and 14 through 26 are hearts. OK, so now what I want to do is I, wanted, I want to um, deal three of these cards. Dealing three of these cards in Fathom is called sampling. So I'm going to sample cases. I do not want replacement because I'm not putting the card back before I pick another one. So it's not with replacement, and I always select animation off. So we're going to keep replace existing cases, and we're going to have three of them, so that is equivalent to having three cards. So sample more cases. So then here, if we drag down a table, we get to see what the cards are. So 18, 33, and 48. I decided that the red cards are all numbered 1 through 26. So this one's a red, and these two are all, these two are both black. So it's easier to check whether or not the cards are red by assigning a new variable, which we'll call color. So to get color, I want to I want to define a formula for it. So I'm going to control click on it and edit the formula. The formula is going to be defined by using an if statement. So if this variable card is smaller than or equal to 26, then I know the card is red, so I'm going to have it return red. If it doesn't fall into the category, so then I know the card is black, so I'm going to put a B there. Okay, so here that tells me I have one red card and two black cards. All right, so now I want to have Fathom deal a bunch of rounds of three hand of three three card hands, and I want to count the number of red colors in each hand. To do that, I'm going to be defining a measure on this sample. So in my inspector for the sample, I go to measures. My new measure, I'll title it number of reds. And the formula is going to be the counting formula. So I want to count of this variable color how many of them are red. And that's, that reads, determine how many of this variable are red. Click OK. OK, so now I told, it, I told it the kind of output that I'm looking for. And now I have to actually have it deal these cards. So I'm going to, with the sample highlighted, I'm going to go up to collection and tell it to collect measures. So now we see what we have are, we were dealt one round of three cards, one of them was red. On the second round of three, we had another one red. On the third round, there were two reds, and so on. OK, 
Okay, so it wasn't until the fifth round that all three cards were read. Okay, so five cases isn't really good for an experimental probability. It's, it's you know, the law of large numbers says we need a lot of cases. So let's do, let's, let's simulate this um, several more times. So I'm going to turn animation off here, and maybe I'll get, say, let me do 30,000 cases this time. I already have five, so 29,995 more cases. Collect measures. Okay, so now that I have my 30,000 values of the measure, I'm ready to determine the proportion of these that are three, because whenever it's a three, it means all three cards were red. So I'm going to drag down a summary, drag down this variable, change it to proportion. So I want the proportion of times that this variable is equal to a three. So that right there is our experimental probability. Okay, the experimental probability that when you're dealt a hand of three cards, that all three of them are going to be red.